Hi everyone, this is Scott from the old Curiosity Shop and it's time for another installment of Guess What Sold on eBay This Past Week. Now I do these every Monday night, so it's everything that sold from last Monday night to this Monday night. And I sometimes like to start off with an old photograph. I was going through some old pictures and I found this one of my mother and father. This is not their wedding. This is actually their junior senior prom. Yeah, my parents were high school sweethearts. And that photograph was taken in, I would say, let's see, 1961 or 62. 1961 or 62. So anyway, they would probably kill me if they knew I was putting that up for everybody to see. But that leads me into guess what sold and here's what sold. Uh, and again, I would say that if you would like a closer look at any of this stuff or want to hear me talk any more about it, not that I don't talk enough as it is, you can always go back and check out my previous thrift haul videos because most of the things that I show that have sold, I've also uh, highlighted in thrift haul videos. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to go through five pages because I split this set up and thankfully it all went to one person. One bidder, one buyer got everything. I think I broke this set up into about five lots, five or six lots. It's a 1930s Japan Art Deco set. These are the plates. And okay, okay. This is the cream and sugar. And it usually doesn't do all this. Here are the cups and saucers. I know I'm going quickly. Woo! It's jumping around. Uh, here are the. Oh no, that was it. Okay. So, and there was actually one other listing that slipped by the particular buyer, but I went back and found it. Anyway, I sold all of the pieces of the Art Deco Mapoco China to one person uh, who lives in Jersey. I'm actually going to deliver it. We made out a deal. I'm not really charging him anything to deliver it because just the hassle of having to wrap and pack like 32 pieces of eggshell thin china and it is so delicate but it's great art deco stuff uh, there are several flea markets yard sale not yard sales uh antique shops kind of along the way it's only about an hour away i'm going to drive up there um you know just deliver it uh, saves me the hassle of packing it and worrying about it getting broken i think i was hoping to get about 150 for everything and Guess what? It actually sold at the end of the day for about 140, 140, 145. So um, I got what I was hoping I would get. Then I sold my, uh, this is a shaving mug. They're sometimes called occupational because they usually have uh, depicted on them uh, graphics of the occupation of the owner. Now these would be, uh, these would be, uh, men would have these. They were shaving mugs. They would be used to mix the shaving cream and uh, they would stay at the barber shop or sometimes the, you know, the individual would own them. This one is owned, uh, uh, has the name of the guy on it who owned it. His name was Harry Suckle, <laughs> which I think is funny. <sighs> Harry Suckle. Um, anyway, that sold for, and I didn't have, yeah, 12 bucks. My Georges Briard, which I'm finally pronouncing it right. Thank you to a, a, one of my watchers who said, who actually sent me, she was so sweet. I don't, I can't remember her name. She sent me the link. She said, here's how you pronounce it. Cause I knew I was saying it wrong. Um, but anyway, all these pieces of the Briard glass, 1960s glass sold for $34.99. My Eskimo, Eskimo, not Eskimo, um, electric fan, sold for $24.99, with all those little scratches in the paint, 
but hey, it's good old honest wear. There you can see the brand, Eskimo. Oh, doesn't want to highlight. Let's see. Uh, five of my Indiana Glass uh, King's Crown thumbprint plates sold for 22 bucks. So I'm gradually selling off. Well, I shouldn't say gradually. Um, this stuff hasn't been online. It's not been in my shop for a month yet, and I've already sold a couple lots of it. I bought a lot. And if you like this stuff, I have a lot of sherbets, goblets, a lot of different stems that are still for sale and in great shape, like no scratches on the flashed on ruby design. And yes, how in bad, ooh, all right, anyone who's 13 years or younger, please exit or turn off, change the station now. Ooh, look at his little hiney. Um, the <laughs> you can see I labeled this erotic vintage nudes on Japan vase planter flower pot 1950s. I did not know that all of this debauchery is that the word? Uh, frivolity was going on on this little Japan planter until I got it home. So, uh, well, you know, hey, they're having a good time. They've got no clothes on. They're doing their thing. Made in Japan. Sold for 19 bucks. Let's move on. A piece of Makasa Blue Point, a big vegetable serving bowl, uh, is on its way to North Carolina and it sold for $18.99. Still have a lot of pieces left of this really neat mid century design. Wow, yes, I picked all of this stuff up. You know, I figure if I'm going to put my Christmas stuff in storage, you know, and why not throw it online and see what it does? I sell Christmas all year long. This Christmas set went for one thirty nine ninety nine. It's a six place set of uh, Yukago, which are United Ceramic. Com I don't know. I forget. It's one of those you know ubiquitous importers of Japan. Uh, where iridescent Christmas holly berry set 18 pieces so it's cups and saucers it's really pretty uh, blah 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 plates and there's the uh, foil sticker which was underneath most of it and that sold for 13 uh, for 139 excuse me uh, 99 I sold a vinegar cruet a nice Pressed glass vinegar cruet uh, with stopper in good shape. Actually, not pressed, but blown or blown into a mold. Uh, circa 1910. Ten bucks, you know, again, this kind of pressed glass, blown glass, cut glass uh, doesn't do a whole lot anymore. But I still pick it up when I can. This makes me mad because this was my fault. Uh, Cute, tiny little felted, I'm sorry, yeah, flocked red red reindeer, 1960s. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Right there, he's got, ugh, come on. He's got Japan on his belly, his little Japan sticker. This little dude is like, he's not even one inch. This thing is tiny. Um... It sold for $4.99, but I made a mistake and listed it as free shipping. So, unless I'm shipping it across the street, it's going to cost me at least three, four, five bucks to ship it wherever it's going. So, I'm going to probably take a net loss on that because I didn't realize I put free shipping. Oh, well. And the last thing to sell this week for $39.99 is a Hazel Atlas green depression glass butter dish with lid and the base and no chips. 
So that just sold today, which means I've got to get that thing packed up. Was that it? I think that was it. Okay, so not another good week. Uh, again, my typical week is between 12 and 18 items. Uh, it's been a good month so far. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos if you get a chance. Uh, subscribe to my site by pressing the uh, like and the subscribe and then the little bell which lets you know anytime I post something new. So thanks for watching everyone. Happy thrifting, happy buying and selling. This is Scott from the old curiosity shop saying so long for now.